We all know that, uh, uh, as far as I know, there's only one surviving use of uh, slide rules. And in fact, it's a circular slide rule. And uh, anybody, anybody who is a pilot will know that I'm talking about the E6B uh, airplane computer that does so many things for you. It calculates uh, the wind triangle and, and it, it, it calculates your fuel consumption and your weight and balance and la di da. That's the only surviving use I know modern in the slide rule. Now, slide rules uh, uh, originated uh, uh, shortly after the invention of logarithms in, in the, probably about by the middle of the 17th century and remained uh, sort of the plateau of personal computing for about the next 300 years and, and until until Barney Oliver came along and said he wanted something that would fit in his pocket. No, that was Bill Hewlett. Or Bill Hewlett. Okay. So, uh, uh, the, and the, of course, uh, one of the motivations for all this is, is, uh, is starting in the, in the 17th century, after uh, Galileo uh, and uh, Giordano Bruno and all those guys got into such terrible trouble, it was finally realized that actually they were right and astronomers started doing having to do massive calculations. So they used log tables, but they wanted slide rules because uh, uh, that would tremendously speed up and ease the calculation. So the, the ordinary slide rule uh, came about, and I'm sure most of us are familiar with those, and uh, the, one of the problems, of course, with slide rules is the limited accuracy, uh, and uh, if you're doing uh, chained calculations, uh, the, the accuracy, assuming, assuming you have a half a millimeter of accuracy in, a, in, in, the, in the position of your answer on the slide rule, and you add a half a million, half a millimeter accuracy several times, you start to get a bell curve and it starts to spread out. And so what you need is a more accurate slide rule. And generally that translates into a longer slide rule. So, uh, like I say, uh, I hear you, uh, it's good for chain multiplication and division. You can, if you have a log scale, you can do exponentiation, or if you have a log-log scale, that simplifies it. You can do square roots, and uh, when I was in college, uh, it, it was not very good as a back scratcher, but uh, like I say, safer than the football player's girlfriend. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't jump there. How does it work? Well, the, the slide rule is it's just an analog adder. It just works by adding two lengths end to end. The lengths, of course, are the uh, uh, the lengths, of course, are the logarithms of the numbers that are indicated on the slide rule. So, so uh, the, the the two main scales you use are the C scale and, and the D scale, and uh, there's other scales. Uh, there, you can you can have a, whoops, whoop, whoop, whoop. You, you can have a you can have a, a CI scale which is flipped. Uh, you can have a scale broken apart. But these these are all just com mere conveniences. You can actually do it all on the all anything you can do with these scales. You can actually do on the C and D scale with a little bit of extra work. And uh, uh, you can have an A scale that that allows you to compute the uh, the squares of numbers or the square roots, and the K scale allows you to compute the cubes or the cube roots of numbers. But once again, those are those are just mere conveniences. That uh, if you if you just have the C and D scale, you can actually dispense with these. And uh, in college, I remember. Uh, as, as late as the early 1970s, the, the colleges like San Jose State University 
had recourse and slide rule operation. And, uh, you know, like, you're supposed to learn that in high school at the latest, right? What's wrong with people? So, what's a slide rule not good for? Well, if you, if you want to add or subtract numbers, uh, get, get, get a, there's other machines that work uh, better for that, a, a abacus or a machine called an adiator, uh, which, is, uh, which is, think of it as a soroban that automates the carry function. Oh, yeah. What's a cash? What, what's a cash? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, or the or the the, 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 the pepper mill, uh, the uh, the Curta, the Curta pepper mill, uh, which has an interesting history of its own, was was actually developed by a Jew in a Nazi concentration camp, and uh, when he went in the concentration camp, they asked him what he was doing, and when he told them, he said, "Oh, that's pretty good. We'll keep you alive and." When you get it, when you get it done, we can give it to Hitler for his birthday. <laughs> well, he survived the war and went on to develop the thing successfully. So uh, the problems, of course, uh, uh, that uh, some of products is one of the most common task. Is one of the most common tasks. <laughs> that we do in, in, with calculators is some of products. Uh, many, many kinds of problems boil down to this, whether it's dot products of vectors, uh, uh, interpolation, you name it. Uh, it's, this, this is a very common thing. Slide rule is not good for that. And, uh, and of course, uh, finding the mean and standard deviation. Uh, uh, of a large number of numbers, it, so they have their limits, and of course, high precision uh, optical ray tracing that that, that uh, according to according to the standard book on this subject requires a five-digit log table, which is uh, a couple of notches more than a slide rule can give you, and of course, celestial navigation, I think. Uh, I think that requires six digits, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not good for everything. How accurate? Well, I, I look at the number of gradations on the log scale. Uh, other, uh, but uh, but since I since I prepared this talk, I found the, the, on the internet a uh, website where a guy spends a whole. Uh, a whole uh, uh, argument uh, on a web page defining the accuracy of a slide rule and and uh, he says the accuracy of a slide rule uh, is about a half a millimeter mm, no. whatever that is yeah. <laughs> so uh, I look at I look at the number of divisions and uh, and uh, uh, that varies, of course, over the slide rule. So, uh, here, here I look for the largest gap. Uh, so, so this is a this is a this is a slide rule uh, that I that I use to get through college, and the largest gap seems to be right here. And so, uh, that. It, that projects out to about 90 divisions for the whole thing. But uh, much finer, you can get much finer divisions than that. Uh, uh, excuse me, that one, that, that one, that last one was the six, that, excuse me, that last one, I was mistaken. This slide rule, this slide rule is Actually, the one that's over on that over on this table over here, and somebody's going to get it when we do the door prizes. This is a slide rule that I use in college. Now, this this is sort of the ultimate. It's uh, it's actually got hyperbolic uh, functions on it. Uh, it, uh, it it lacks the p scale that post slide rules have, and the, the p scale is a, a, a function that turns sines into cosines. 
And uh, that's very useful in, for problems involving special relativity, actually. But, uh, but I was saying, I'm thankful that I had uh, the one with the hyperbolic functions because I remember in college I actually used it once to find the shape of a hanging chain. And uh, if you look here, the, the widest, the widest area between gradations seems to be right about there. And, and so that, 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 that works out to the equivalent of 184 divisions over the whole thing. So here's an Atlas circular slide rule. Now, the problem with this is that, is that the, 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 inside, the inside of the scale is, a, is all squished down compared to the, the outside is all stretched out. So you, you really can't compare. Uh, you, you have to, yeah, you probably have to measure the, angle, the angular difference in, in gradations, but that seems to be at the inside of the scale. And uh, that works out. Uh, that works out to 9,802 division. That that's a. I don't know if anybody has ever used one of these things. You, if you try to use one of these, first of all, it's very difficult just to find the number on there. You're 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 waiting. Th you're waiting through what 20 different spirals, and you got to go around and find the number. It's, <laughs> It doesn't really save you any time. It does give you an extra digit, but it doesn't really save you that much time. So uh, here's uh, some patents. Uh, here's here's where somebody tried to extend uh, the accuracy by by breaking up the the, the scale of the slide rule. Uh, he drew log, a logarithmic curve there. And uh, so you can you so you can locate a number by the first digit and then by the second digit, and and uh, and you and you can add the distances. 1921. What were they thinking back then? I, I don't know what they were thinking of. So uh, here's a here's a, so here's another interesting fact. This is the Otis King. These were actually in production through the early 50s. And uh, this is a spiral slide rule. And uh, there's two versions. One version just has a, a regular C and D scale for multiplying and dividing. Another one has an additional log scale where you can get the log of a number and then you can go back and use that for exponentiation and square roots and other kinds of problems. That, that you know how to solve with logarithms. And uh, anyway, you can, you, you'll, you'll, there's plenty on the internet about this, about these instruments from the, uh, an outfit called the Otred Society. Otred being the guy that made the first slide rule back in the 17th century. And uh, now here's an attempt to, to expand um, to expand uh, the scale of a slide rule. And basically, they, they, they took a big long slide rule and they chopped it up into sections. And, 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 and so these sections, all, these sections all move in parallel. But once again, you, you have to hunt onto which one, of these, which one of these 20 scales has your desired number. And then you have to f know, figure out which one of them has the answer. It's 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 like it's, it's like you're you you've got twenty slide rules all in parallel each, with each other, and it's all linear. So, uh, and I and I'm sure I'm sure this baby was not cheap to produce. Look at look at the I mean look at the gradations. Look at the look at the gradations on this thing. It just you know, this is this is this is a monster just to produce, 
And then all these scales have to be exactly, accurately, perfectly aligned with each other. And, and of course they give you a magnifying glass because I, I'm sure you need it. All right. What's, okay, so now the glorious Schwartz calculator. Uh, and so uh, they are all looking for more powerful computers. Uh, uh, and I th wanted to see what I could come up with on my own, and unfortunately, I'm limited by what I can print out. Uh, my tool of choice for creating this is Microsoft Excel, in the, sp in the form of a spreadsheet, and the legal size is the biggest I can go. So, here it is, two and a half by 14 inches, and uh, it looks like this. And, uh, and uh, it, it works uh, on the same principle as the Atlas uh, uh, circular slide rule. That is, uh, you have a single scale, and you have, a, you, have a, you have a carrier, and then a cursor that rides on top of the carrier. So, the, so you can move the cursor to wherever you want, but when you move the carrier, the cursor moves along with it. Can I give you a problem? Huh? I'll give you a problem. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, 123. 123, yes. Uh, whoops, you have to hold it right side up. <laughs> yes. Uh, times uh, 456. 123. Okay. I set the, I set the, I set the, I set the, the, the base thing to 123, and now I and I set and I set the, the I set the cursor onto the index. Now I now I move now I move the I move that baby up to four five six. <coughs> four five six and I read off uh, first digit first. I read off five, five, Correct. two, the best I can tell is five, five, two, nine. No, it's five, six, five, eight. Five, well, that's, that's why we have, that's, that's why we have electronic calculators. <laughs> <laughs> Scale out. Let me just make sure I got that set up. Four, hey, Richard, do your multiplication because I think you put in the wrong number. Four, four, five, six. And it says five, five. five one, two, three times four, five, six. Five, five, two, something. Five, five, two. I don't know. Three, maybe. So. This is this is only marginally better. It's five. It's this is only marginally better than your standard 12-inch slide rule. However, I think it's subject to improvement if you have if you have a larger printer. Oh, wait, wait. I, I I did the problem again. I, I give me your digits again. You may be right. Five, what do you mean I may be right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't so sure before. I got five, six, zero, eight, eight. Okay, one, two, three. <coughs> That's on one, two, three. Set, set this, set this guy on the uh, index wherever mm -hmm. that is. There it is. And now move, now move this, now this, move this up to four, five, six. Four. Five, five, four, five, six. Okay. Wait a second. Let, wait a second. Let, uh, let me make sure I'm doing the right. One, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. It's, See the, the problem here is that there, there's a little bit of stiction in the in, in between the plastic and the paper, and uh, sometimes it doesn't move so smoothly. Okay. Four. Four. 
four or four. No, four or five. Four or five. Okay, four or four. Four or five. Six. Six. Okay. Log tables would have been quicker here. With you. <laughs> really? <laughs> you got to get one problem. Look what it says at the bottom. <laughs> what answer you Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you, when you don't do it before, it works fine. Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway, the what? Anyway, the the problem if you try to use this thing. You have the same problem that you would have had with with uh, with that other linear slide rule. The problem is same as with this one. The problem is finding numbers on the spiral scale. The same problem that you had. The same problem you have with the Atlas circular slide rule with this one. Finding the numbers is so takes so long and is so difficult that it's just not worth the bother. You're better off with this log tape. And uh, that's my conclusion on slide rules. Uh, I think their day is done. I mean, they were they were good for rough calculations. They're not good for precision calculations. And uh, that's oh yeah. <laughs> Rich, I have a question. Yes, I've always wondered. Maybe you know. Why is it that the primary scales were called C and D? That, I, I don't know why. Somebody, somebody got Google, ask Google. Uh, it's true. But, it, but, but if you, I'm sure if, if you go to the web page of the, the Altred, O-U-G-H-T-R-E-D, or the Altred Society, they're the slide rule people. Yeah, I've been to the site. I haven't been able to find it. Everyone knows that that's what it is, but I haven't heard a, yeah. an explanation of why they chose those. Uh, a, B, C, D, okay. Let me let me try this one, two, three, four, five, six, one last time before I before it's I. It's hard to find them just one after another. <laughs> well, we try it on this. Okay, so let me see. One, two, two, one, two, one, two, three. That guy's on one, two, three. And you may have a humidity temperature problem with the, with the, with the you know. Yeah. Now I take now I take now I take this index and I move up from the index up to four, five, six. Four, four, five. Four, 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 five, six, which is about there, and I get I get five. Correct. Let, Wait, the first did I, I get the uh, there's three there's places. five, there's six. Uh, so so I get I don't know, five five uh Come on, one more digger, one more digger. Five, five, what, two, three? No, it's five, six, zero. Five five six zero. No no five six zero. Eight eight. What you can't handle. Five six zero eight eight. Well, see if you can read that. Then. I get five point five four. Oh, oh, my Wait a minute. Five. Four, five see if you can read where that is. Where right there. Where the cross is. Yeah. Oh, I get five. Uh, two sections. I get five point five six two. Five. Well, we're, we're six. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. So it's so darn hard to read. Well, you didn't put enough, enough numbers on here. And what DEG? You no, know, that's, that's to, convert, to convert degrees into radians. Well, the problem is that you didn't number your scales. I mean, how do you know that? That's, oh, that says 5.5 .5 right here? Yeah. So there's 5.5. And then we get 5.5. And up here is this. And up here is 6. Well, what, what's these major divisions then? 
That's that's. <laughs> well, if this this is a major division, then this must be five point six six. Yeah, right. So well, then, then it's way off. History. Way off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well. That's the way it goes. Blame Excel for calculating the logarithms wrong. Oh, okay. Anyway, so much for that. Okay, well, thank you very much. But, uh, it, can, it can be done. It can be done.